two of my favorite AI video slash animation platforms have gotten some updates and I want to share them with you real quick just in case you haven't checked them out lately. Hedra and Vidu. Hedra is great for facial animation and Vidu is great for other animation. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's start with Hedra. Now, Hedra allows you to upload or create a face for facial animation. You can upload an image from your hard drive and I could just use this image right now and I could make it talk by either typing in text here with text to speech, choosing a voice from the drop down list and part of their updates are these premium voices which sound more realistic. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. That's for a Spanish accent. Make the world go round. Love is what makes the ride worth. The greatest gospel concert the world has ever witnessed is coming to Rochester. Perhaps you would prefer a slice of apfelstrudel, a flaky pastry filled meat spiced apples. I really like that one. You can preview it here. I could make it talk like this. Let's give it a little something more to say. There are few who pass through to the other side and ever decide to return. But that face doesn't really match that voice. So let's take a look at one of their other updates here. I talked about this briefly in a recent video, but I can click stylize here and then I can give it any prompt. For example, a German professor wearing a purple hat for some reason in a classroom. And I can adjust how much that prompt affects this original image by moving the AI strength. I'll put it here right about in the middle and click stylize. If I like that, I can just click apply changes. And then if I'm ready, I can click generate video and it will start the rendering process of that video. So now we have this. There are few who pass through to the other side and ever decide to return. Of course, and Many make promises, but the temptation of the other side is simply too much for them. If you should decide to go forward, I hope you have completed your work in this world. And there are no loose ends that you need to tie up. That is a very extreme accent. I can also drive the facial animation by sending up a recording or making one right here. Hello, I'm an old man standing outside of a cave who doesn't talk like that other guy who's my twin brother or something. I really can't explain it. Maybe I'm just being a demo for you and I have no real significant meaning on this planet whatsoever. Well, you're just gonna keep making me talk. Click on generate video. Hello, I'm an old man standing outside of a cave who doesn't talk like that other guy who's my twin brother or something. I really can't explain it. Maybe I'm just being a demo for you and I have no real significant meaning on this planet whatsoever. Well, you're just gonna keep making me talk. Sorry about that, dude. The stylization feature actually has its own section up here that you can go to by adding an image. And by the way, if you have a webcam attached, you can use this icon to catch your picture. Mine's being used at the moment. So we can upload this picture of me in sixth grade, which everybody wanted to see. The preview is kind of broken on their page for whatever reason, but by looking at the heading, you can expect what to get. I'm gonna click on caricature here and click on apply style. Okay, and so now we've got this. This section here allows you to choose a piece of music that they have predetermined between the two of these and it will create an animation of this character singing that music. Generally speaking, no one's going to want those two things. You're going to want to either download this image and then bring it in traditionally and then upload it in the other interface as a starting point, or you can just click try our full editor for more and it'll be right here. And I can click on apply changes and then I can do whatever I want to with this particular character. Or I could stylize it even more by clicking stylize and say maybe female character just to see what kind of variety we get. That's cool. Go back and choose the animation 3D style. Click on apply style. And then we have this. So the only reason I would see to use this is if you want this particular style, but you don't know how to type that to get a prompt. However, if you choose try our full editor for more, it's going to bring the prompt that created this image in. So a 3D rendered character with a big head, exaggerated facial features and large eyes. So basically this is the prompt to create a 3D image out of whatever you upload. So without having to go to the stylize area up here, you can just keep everything going in the create tab. So if I load this in and click on stylize and then use this same prompt, I'll get my 3D version of this. And again, if it's too much or too little, I can change that here and click stylize one more time, click on apply changes when I like it, and then I'm ready to animate it. Now let's take a quick look at the Vidu update. Vidu is another text to video or image to video platform. And it's one of my favorites because of the quality of the animation choices, not necessarily the resolution or even the quality of the image, which is everybody's complaint about this if they have a complaint, but the choices it makes and the fun, I guess, for lack of a better word, it has with the animation, I think is better than just about any of them. Although the others are getting much better. Let me show you what's changed. In the create video section, now you've got three tabs instead of two. You have image to video, you have reference to video, and you have text to video. Image to video is exactly what you would expect. You would upload an image here and you can either provide a prompt to supplement it or just let it go on its own and it will create the animation. 
reference to video means I can select an object or a person that I want featured in the video so I can take that element out of the original picture and somewhere else. So for example, if I was to select this woman here, click on confirm and give it the prompt women sip woman sipping tea at the zoo where the animals have gotten loose. It'll create an image here that incorporates the teacup and there's the woman but she's in the zoo instead of that room with the other woman. And text to video means there's no reference image, you just type in the text. So for example, the prompt that created those images that we were just looking at was two people raise their teacups and take a sip. So there's no guidance and then we get something like this, which I think looks really good. They've also rearranged this area with the settings. You can quickly change the length of the animation by just clicking here and choosing four to eight seconds. We also have the choice to prioritize speed or quality of the animation. I almost always go quality and I almost always go eight seconds. Clicking this right here just basically gives you the same settings in one little place. And don't forget there's a guide to help you learn all of this stuff without just watching videos like mine. You can actually dig in here, take a deep dive and really learn how to master this stuff. Just real quick, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel and this is the type of stuff you're interested in, why not click that subscribe and notify button? This is the kind of stuff we talk about all the time, and we have a great deal of fun doing it. And if you want to dig deeper into any of these topics, check out our AI Lab Essentials membership. It's low cost, but it gives you access to a lot of in-depth information that it isn't practical to share here on these quicker-paced YouTube videos, which we're going to get back to right now. Let's just do a quick image to video demonstration that's a little more exciting. I'm a big fan of the new Flux model that is a text to image generation model where you can type in what you want to see and it generates an image. And those Flux generated images make great starting points for animations like these. So let's just go over here to another tool called Glyph, which actually creates great Flux prompts from just a few words. So for example, a superhero flying through the city, and I'm choosing the hyper-realism style, but we have several choices to choose from. Click on Run. So now I have this much more complicated prompt, a muscular superhero in a sleek metallic suit. Anyway, more details. So I copy that prompt, and then I go to this online flux generation tool, which is free, and I've got a link in the description. I'm going to paste that prompt that was just created in here and run that to create an initial image for an image-to-video generation. But while that's generating, I can go to video and go to the text-to-video and use that prompt here. So we can see the difference between what Vidu creates with a text prompt and what it creates with an image that was created with that same exact prompt. Meanwhile, Flux has generated this image, so we'll just copy that, go back to Vidu, go to Image to Video, upload that. I won't add any text here. I'll just let Vidu figure out what to do with this superhero in the sky. I'm going to keep it at eight seconds with high quality and click on Create and let that cook for a little bit. And I will choose Reference to Video, and I'm going to get the old one out and put the superhero back in. Now I'm going to select just this superhero and confirm and then say superhero walks through a department store where employees from the cosmetics department spray him with perfume fume which annoys him. So rather than using him flying through the air as the starting frame, we're going to try to extract him as a character and see if Vidu will put him in this department store. So we'll click on create. One of the other things I love about Vidu is you definitely get your result a lot faster on this platform than some of the other big ones right now. Here's the animation that Vidu generated from the text prompt. So this was not using the image that was created from Flux. We just gave it the same prompt that we gave Flux and it created this animation out of it. I haven't upscaled this or anything, which is an option in video. I just click on upscale and click on confirm and it will start that process. Here's the upscaled version. This certainly isn't like topaz quality upscale. I'd love to see this upscale get better. It does sharpen up the edges sometimes and actually in some cases I like the originals better. Here's our superhero extracted from the flight of the sky and he is in the department store and he is getting sprayed with cologne exactly like I asked. That is That one turned out great. And this is the result of the basic image to video. So just in case you hadn't checked out those two platforms lately or at all, I wanted to point you in their direction because these are two of my favorites that I use all the time. They're the ones that I'm watching because I think they're truly innovative in their own areas, even though the other bigger players have their own strengths as well. Both of these platforms are easy to use and give you generations in just a couple of minutes rather than having to wait for 10, 15 minutes or sometimes hours to see the result of your AI video generation. If this is the type of thing you like to learn about, well, why not subscribe to this channel? Because, well, this is the type of thing we talk about all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...